how to create and schedule triggers in Azure Data Factory using the four types of triggers available. The first trigger we're going to create is the most common one, the schedule trigger. This trigger executes at set intervals with no other dependencies. So we create a new trigger, name it, type is schedule, and we want to run every 24 hours. Start trigger on creation. And I'm going to set the time two minutes from now. We also have to specify the parameters of the pipeline. And publish it. From the monitor pane we can check the execution of our recently created trigger. The second available trigger is a tumbling window trigger. This works in the same way as a scheduled trigger with, no, with the main difference being that it executes for a given window, in my case one hour, with no overlapping. This means if the previous trigger didn't finish within the allocated window, the current one will wait for the process to end before it will start. Third trigger is an interesting one. It will trigger only when a new file will land or will be deleted in the storage account. So we select storage events type and you see we already have to give details about the storage account. We can provide the suffix or the prefix of our files and we can decide if the trigger triggers when the blob is created or deleted. It will let us know that this file is currently present here and of course we also have to provide parameters. After providing parameters don't forget to publish your newly created trigger. Now, from the storage account, let's overwrite this file. And check the triggering. After a few seconds, we can see that our storage trigger executed successfully. The fourth trigger I'm going to show is the custom events trigger. This works like the previous trigger, but the events are not generated by a file landing in storage, but by an app making a call to an event grid service. For this, we have to select the event grid topic name and give a value to our event types. Of course, we have to give the parameter name. and publish it. You can modify the triggers in the dedicated panel of the Manage menu. Now you know.